Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the meeting started. It's six o'clock. Okay, start with our pledge and then Commissioner Davis, I'll let you do the prayer. Thank you, sir. Please, sir. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Lord, we come to you tonight thanking you for the many blessings you have given us. We ask that you watch over us, over us tonight, open our hearts and our minds so we may understand what this community needs and make us make the right decisions. We ask that you be with those that have suffered in Louisville today, watch over them and their families, and watch over us always, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jay. This chair, I swear it's got a mind of its own. Yeah, uh, they all do. Sandy called and she is homesick, so she will not be here tonight. So we'll go ahead and get this show started. First item of business is the approval of minutes. I approve. I have a motion with approval of minutes. Good job. Just second. I have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. 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 Opposed, same. Next item of the bills. Make a motion we pay the bill. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. Going down to old business. First item is the water line replacement bid from Luttrell. Yes, we have been discussing. They and they were the only bidder, so we, we could open this up to discussion with them. They had indicated that they could do a dig in place cheaper and save somewhere around eighty thousand dollars. I think it was three eighty four, three eighty six was a bid. The one up on Main Street. Yes. Okay. And that one there was three oh eight. Three oh four. Three oh four. So was that, I thought there was something else they had that could... They changed the mobilization. I think it was $15,000 for mobilization. They dropped it down to 5000 I think. And there's two or three line items they changed there, so... But they're still drilling? No. No, this will be... I thought, I thought you just yeah, said... it be an open, open dig. Is that, yeah. a, is that going to cost us more in the long run because of repair to the yards and streets and all that? It's, it's gonna, it's well, big. he's turned around and put the money for the yard repairs okay. back in here. It'll be on the inside of the homeowner's sidewalk. Everything be replaced if they, if they tear it up or damage it. They will. <coughs> the homeowner has to be informed before we start. Yes. Is that on our right of way? Would that be on our right of way? Yes, on the way. on state right of way. Okay. And I think we will get all the permits. Bigger staff had already secured all them. How much money did you say we're going to save doing that? About eighty thousand. I don't think we can go wrong. Did it come in at three, three eighty-four, three eighty-six? Uh, three sixty-eight. I think I thought it was three ninety something. I thought it was close to four hundred. And how much are they gonna do three oh four eight? Wow. That's a big, big difference. It's a third or a quarter anyway. Just need that in the motion? Mm hmm I move to accept a bid for the water line replacement. Second. <coughs> second. We have a motion and a second for the discussion. Those in favor signify that. Aye. Opposed. Uh, <coughs> motion passed. We pass that back then. I'm adding another item under old business is the property maintenance ordinance uh, up entertain a motion for the second reading of it. You know, we had the first reading and then we did make some changes when we had our That's thing we uh, meeting, Probably. the workshop in here on the right. I make a motion we accept the second reading. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes. I was really pleased we didn't have, everybody seemed to be real satisfied before mm -hmm. we did all that. Yeah, once, that's, that's sometimes it's good to have those yeah. kind of meetings where you can air it out a little bit instead of letting social media do it. Uh, new business, first item is Housing Authority Board Member. They did have a resignation. Uh, Kelly Reisinger was on the board and due to her work schedule and traveling a whole lot with work, she felt like she needed to come off. And they've done some talking. We have someone who's agreed to do it. So I will put up for approval Paula Renfro for that board's position. Move to approve Paula Renfro to the Housing Authority Board. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. The motion passes. Was that Paul or Paula? Paula. Paula. Uh, next item is the municipal road aid agreement. Hmm. How much? How much was it? Seven 
six, I think it was 60 something. Well, I won't say. Um, fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2023, 73,961.13. So it's up a little higher than what it was last year. Yeah. Usually it's close to 70. Yeah, last year I think it came in just under, I think it was in this high 60s. So, And I know they're working on ways to uh, negotiate with CACO and the counties to try to change that and get that number a little higher on down the road. 73,000. 74,000. But we will need a I move to accept the municipal aid agreement. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. Uh, okay. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the 2023 KLC safety grant. It is a 50-50 match up to $3,000, um, so just need approval to apply for it. What would it be used for? Um, anything between defensive driving trainings. Um, safety supplies, safety training. But for the city or for like the fire department or the police department? Or? Well, for you. Anybody, Anybody to do with the city. Okay. I'd like the motion we apply for the safety grant. Second. We have a motion and second for the discussion. And this is something that comes out every year. Yeah. We've used it for one year. We used it for the gates at the park, and we've used it for Crub Brummer at one time, but I don't think you can use it for that this time around. They, they give different years, they give you different stuff you can use it for. Okay, those in favor signify the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Shelby had a thing on our we need to add to our policies, the personnel yeah, policy. Yes. Um, Make a it motion is. except the district. Are you all going to talk about it? Okay. Well, if we just have to add the distracted driving, the um, use of no cell phones while driving. But it is. So. I'm surprised that it was used, not even a answer. Yeah. Well, but I think this is more than let you do hands free. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, silence or turn off. This is the most restricted one I've ever seen. But what's that going to do to you guys? You're going to ignore it? Yeah. I mean, you're... I, I'm, I'm for sure. I thought something there said no phone. I thought we discussed that back a couple years ago about no, no phone uses in, in city vehicles. Well, I, I think we said it, but we didn't say no hands-free. Well, free. I think the hands-free is what's no changing hand this. Because right. you see that a lot of time because, like, mine goes through the car. To the speaker. How come you can't use hands free is what I want to know. Well, can't you have those, like the, the headset that you just have? Bluetooth. According yeah. to this. I mean, that, yeah. yeah, according to that, that, according to this, you can't even have that or the one that's in your car. radio on your car. Like I say, all I have to do is yeah, like click a button. Like truck driver, they can wear those headphones. Yeah. Touch your, touch and it comes off. Yep. Where's my This one's Department of Transportation or, or, or the insurance company. Insurance. Insurance. That answers that question. You can or you can answer the car, but the can't, car can't be in motion the way I understood it. If I if I understand the law. I'm sure if you pull it over. Yeah, they don't. They can't. Yeah. I wouldn't get you if you're going down the street and you wreck and you're on the phone. Yeah, this says pull over to a safe place. Yeah. So do we need to do we need to accept that as a? Yeah, we'll have to have a motion to add it to the. I make a motion we accept the distracted driving policy and add it to our new policy. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Jim, do you have anything? I mean, I like it, but we got to do it. We'll, we need to go in closed session. Yeah, I knew we were going to have to go for a little bit. Okay. Charles? No, I haven't up here. Kevin? Uh, Y'all just saved it all for me, didn't you? Okay. Oh. First off. Look up, we know you do. We got a problem down the park, and it's not a problem that's it's gotten bad in the last couple of years. It is dog waste? If people are taking their dogs down there and picking up the waste, and it's all over the place down there. And I didn't realize how bad it was, so I went down there and walked it. It's pretty bad. We can get these dog waste things with the bags set up. We have one. I, don't we, we have one somewhere. It's still over shop. I think we couldn't find the uh, the gloves to go in it. The bags? Bags. It was, it, was a, it was a glove, Amber glove or something. 
Yeah. No, you take the bag and inside out and pick yeah. it up and throw it in the bag inside out. Just a regular bag, you stick it in and you pull it back out like that. I've used them before. It's not yeah. and everything, but I think we need to at least put one or two down there. And the prices are expensive, and I hate to say this. One of them by itself is one sixty nine ninety nine. That's for the sign, the little container that holds the bag, the post, and all that. And if you get one, it's one sixty nine. If you get three, they go down to one fifty one ninety nine a piece. I don't know that we need three. But if you have, still have that one I got for you, then yeah, one. Yeah, if we could do the one, I would see really how well they we work. It up. We can order the bags with this. I'm not sure they're going to yeah. work. I don't think we it. have. I hope it is. Rolls of bags in the office. That's Could we get that up, Larry? If you don't care. Okay. Well, that takes care of that one. I got a feeling if we can't have trouble getting people to not tear up the restrooms, we'll have trouble getting them to pick up dog food. Yeah. Uh, they gonna try. Yeah. The dog thing. People with dogs are used to stuff like that as long as they have something to do. It a with responsible it. dog pet owner yeah. will do that. Most responsible ones. Will. We always carry something with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, even when we're on vacation, we take bags just in case. I Only reason my sister has a dog, we have to pick up some after. Some you might get arrested. I mean, yeah. I take stuff with me when I take mine to these uh, yeah. shows and stuff. Yeah. The only place if we're walking them at home, I got two neighbors that said, "Don't pick it up." Yeah, they won't. My dog, because my dog's going to do it in your yard. Like, I can live with that. <laughs> That's probably. True. But we kind of have that agreement. Yeah, so. That's a pretty good agreement. All right. Also, uh, Larry, are there trash cans around the park where people can put trash in? Yes. Like if they're walking on the trail. Yes. There was three or four of them. Yeah, there's okay. one down by the lake, one by the amphitheater, yeah, that the bench by the amphitheater, one by the farmers market, and one by the basketball court. I think there's four on each. Kind of one on each corner. How close are they to the tra uh, trail? Right, I mean, right on okay. it. Okay. Okay. So we have we have trash trash bag cans down there, so we do we might not have to worry about that too much. I was worried we didn't have enough of them, but apparently we apparently have, and they're they're cleaned out at, a pro at on a regular basis. Larry. Yes. Okay. All right. Third thing, I hate even bring us up. Pickleball needs porta potties. <laughs> well, they know how to order them. Well, well, I know it. Okay, I know. And we talked about at one point maybe putting some kind of system down there, but we haven't decided what to do as far as permanent location or anything down there. But we do need to get something down there if you don't care. How much do you think rent for? About a hundred dollars a month. Yeah. But we only put them in there from what till like what is today, like April to November, isn't it? Six months, seven months. How long? How long? Yeah. 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 But they need something down there because the other the other potty down there is not working. So you know we yeah, need you yeah. something. So I'd like to have that yeah. if we could. Is that, is that a problem, Larry? As far as pickleball court, nothing. Okay. And the last thing talk about you guys the plaque and I know we're going to discuss that when you guys come up we talked originally and you were the one that brought up the Maya Angelou quote would yes. you care if that was put up actually I, I brought up the quote as an example the quote wasn't agreed upon with the group okay it was, it was merely an example of a quote that's it we kind of so thought, we kind of liked that one. I, I, I like that what, idea. That's what I thought you wanted. And that's what, what we agreed to. No, it was just an example. I understand why you all like that one. Personally, and the group also thinks, because we talked about it before, I just feel like the Maya Angelou quote is a little watered down. It just shows like we didn't really try. We didn't even look for one. Because everybody knows that quote. I would want to see something different, something that would make me think. And again, I see your point. I'm just trying to make it where it's well, not something that's going to be outdated in a couple of years. And I'm not saying you're not going to be outdated, Sherry. I'm I, <laughs> you're well, never outdated. Do you have another, or can you come up with another quote you want to use? Yes. Okay. United we stand, divided we fall. If we come together, we will forever stand tall. Like I like that. I like that. I like that. Would you care if we use that? I would love that. That okay. would be perfect. And we talked about we've got a place for the tree. I don't. I don't. Cindy told you where we picked out for the tree. Do you want the plaque by the tree, or do you want? We're, we're talking about moving the entrance to the. We're amphitheater. moving the entrance to the amphitheater. Yeah. This would summer. you rather have the? I think the plaque at the beginning of the amphitheater where I you think walk the, in. The most footwork. We're that would be the. Would I think, think the plaque like, would need to be by the tree, though, wouldn't it? Well, I agree. It would be. It would be. 
you know, because the tree is sponsored by, you know, because it was put there for that reason. I can understand why you'd want the plaque there also. But it's going to get foot traffic down there almost anywhere when there's a concert because they come in from everywhere. Yes, but we are moving it. Is there a source on that quote that, you know, or is it just something? It, is it somebody written, written that? The one you just did. Yes, it. I wrote that. Okay. okay. I think we, oh, get, we can put your name on there. I don't have a problem with that. Wrote it. Yeah, we need to have that anyway. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh. And I still, I'd still like to do something for Sherry, but we'll figure that out later. We, got, we need more time to think about this. So if you want to write that, you can write that to me and get it to me. I'll get the plaque made up. Okay. And Sherry, I'm pretty sure you also wanted to like, you know, write your own excerpt about why we have, why you're on this, and like what it means to you. I don't know that. I don't know that we need pictures on them. Yeah. Well, that's our only drawback is because of weather, faith, and bad. Yeah. The only we love the quote idea. You make it too big, the sign's going to be too big. I well, like your idea of what you said on there. It's going to be perfect on that sign size we got picked out. And what it's going to and look the like. Other one, the other one you're talking about maybe putting in, that would be a separate one. We'd have to figure out a way to cover it so it wouldn't weather with the, with the rain and stuff. The what one we're going to have made up won't. I don't think. What other one? The, the sign that we're going to put up with the quote on it. I don't think it's going to weather. Oh, no. It, you can, they can get those fixed where they want yeah. weather. Henry Branch can do that. Mm -hmm. all right. It was to our attention that they were all together on one plaque. It was just one plaque. Mm -hmm. um, photo, Sherry, her message, and then the quote at the bottom. That's what we, that was what we were visioning. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't think that it's a good idea with the photos because what it's going to look like pretty quick, number one. Number two, just one, just one photo. There's a lot of people that's going to start questioning why wasn't their picture on it. And then, and then number three, when you start going back to like the Shelby Barnes, the jockey, uh, yeah. different ones through the years, they're going to say, well, why wasn't their picture on it? And you can only do so much. I genuinely don't think anyone is going to question why Sherry's on there. I think everyone's going to be very happy and we just want her to stay there. Do you know what the one thing is about it? And I, of course, Sherry, Sherry knows I love her to death. <laughs> what I worry about more than anything is how much vandalism goes on down there. I'm afraid somebody would paint on it or do something to it, make a face on it, do something to it and damage it. That's the only thing. I don't think they'll touch the sign. But if you put somebody's face out there, I think the first thing they're going to do is do something destructive. That's why I would want to get it covered to where even if they spray paint it, we could peel it off, clean it, and it wouldn't get the picture itself. But that's going to take more time to get. I'm not saying we don't do that. I'm saying let's just start with the plaque, get it up, and then we'll worry, we'll get the other thing with Sherry. Sure. Yeah. Thing. And I even thought about putting it one of them up here and one of them up there at, at uh, Oldham. That way you get two places, and you know that way we could have have both places covered. Because so one there and one at Oldham. Yeah, I'm thinking it might be a good idea to have. Have you one discussed that with anybody else, Kevin? <laughs> huh? Have you discussed I, that with anybody else? No, I just yeah. I said I thought <laughs> we could do that. idea was to just have one singular plaque at the amphitheater and that's is that just possible because that's what the group that's that's all that we're really asking for is just one plaque with a recognition of one person her message and a quote at the bottom that's really all that we're asking about you know like I feel like if we make it if we keep it simple then it would be less expensive and it would just be less maintenance on the years if you just keep one person in there. And that's why I thought the quote would be better because I don't think anybody would touch it to start with. And again, to start with. Right. I'm more concerned about what the and again, sun I think and we'll Ray's going to do to a picture. That's why, like with the one at Oldham, it's not a picture, it's an etching. No it, one had any um, emotional connection to that person, though. People know Sherry. You know what no, I mean? no, that's what I'm saying, though. But I'm not trying to sound combative. No, 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 I know, but I'm saying that was etched onto marble. You don't have the fading like you would on yeah, a picture. Okay. okay. I, I'm just, I'm concerned about what it's going to look like in two or three years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just why we have a, we can keep maintenance on it. Just mm -hmm. look at it. And keep it yeah, on. but maintenance is going to be probably replacing it. Yeah. When you. Yeah. I know Kevin had mentioned at one point to end right the picture. Yeah, that, 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 was, yeah. that was one of the so, things we talked about you could possibly do was yeah. integrate it. Yeah. Again, that would have to be something that would be, it would be, it would be easier to do it that way, but it's going to be also, you see what they do to that one down there at Oldham. 
right. they knock it do down like, all the time. Up. We do clean it. And yeah. I agree with you, but I'm just saying, the vandalism around here is so bad. Something simple, they probably won't bother. You start putting a face on it or a name on it, they'll go after it immediately. I mean, they tear the bathroom, they tear the urinals and the sinks off the walls down there. I mean, picture or not, a picture or not, and, picture that, in it, but. and I'm saying that it doesn't matter. So I, I again, I respect Sherry enough to not want her to get vandalized. No offense, I know that sounded <laughs> terrible, but, <laughs> but, but maybe it, the location depends on. I feel like there are certain locations where people are more likely to vandalize things. If something was at a park that no one really goes to anymore, and I know that they also vandalize things at the amphitheater park, which is all the, time. all the time. Yeah, all the time. But if this said plaque was in a place where people were less likely to vandalize it, then it probably wouldn't get vandalized. Where there's cameras and, you know, everyone can, it's harder to get in there. The only place we'd have a camera would be inside the amphitheater itself. You know, and we that's got cool. cameras, but. Yeah, they only pick up so much. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't see people walking all the way over It's by the tree, yes. Would, could we start with your quote first and then see if we work from there? Because I think we'll work it out eventually. I would honestly rather start with Sherry. Honestly, because that's what this was about. Respectfully. And we could definitely work something out, but that's just... My stance, and I think that's what everyone here is wanting. Yeah. Well, my understanding was when we had the meeting last month was you wanted this quote on there with the tree, and I'm fine with that. I love the idea. Yeah, with the but red nothing red. was said that I caught last meeting about pictures. That's yeah. why yeah. Or I, I didn't get the picture until y'all sent me the other thing. You, we spoke about the photo here, about recognizing something. I know you brought it to Kevin later. but Yeah, I got, the, I got the email from you, and it, or not the email, the text that had the picture on it. Yeah, and I showed it to everybody. I went and showed it to everybody so they'd know what we were looking at. So it was mentioned twice then, at the meeting and also... Well, I don't recall it at the meeting. I'm just going to leave it at that. But okay. Because, like I say, I love the quote idea. Yeah. And I like this quote. I actually like yours better than the other one. I, I do, too. I, I like it. I, I like really it. like the quote okay. we put on so it. But if they were to decide not on the picture, I do remember because I rewound, you know, you go on YouTube and watch, that she mentioned to recognize someone, whether the picture... If everyone agrees, not me. If there's not a picture, Sherry Montgomery, first black female, quote, that was mentioned that we would want to recognize yeah, some okay, you, like you, one you, person. You, 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 you. Yeah, like this. Can we compromise on that? Where you know she doesn't necessarily have to have a photo, but we want to recognize her on this flag. My quote is itty bitty to me. The only thing that I was really worried about was recognizing this woman. Right here, in the best way possible, with all the stuff she's, she's done and continues to do every day. But I really do appreciate the compliment on the quote. Well, and I don't mean, of course, Sherry knows what I think of her. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, we could, but, but, but I've got to look at the other side and play devil's advocate here. And, and the, I'm going to put up what about the first, and I don't, this sounds bad, and I don't like this, but what about the first black woman who's ever elected to Beaver Dam City Council, or the first black man who's ever elected to Beaver Dam City Council? Or there's a whole lot of firsts you can go to. And that's a, that's a and great point. That, She's here right now, you know what I mean? I know, but I've got, we've, I've got to play devil's advocate because we have to look at the other side of it when all these questions start popping up. Somebody has to. This is true. If one of, let's say Alma, then someone's going to question why not Ben Barr? Why not yeah. Sherry? Why not Ralph Miller? Why not? But at the same time, that's well, that's here. and that's well, a step. Austin, you know, you just keep going on. But they're all here too. How does the question? The well, I know, but so that's. I have a question. If people question and get upset about why someone is not on this plaque, how does it negatively? How will it impact you all? Like I'm not saying it won't. I just want to know. Like, what, all, what responsibility will it bring to you guys if people get mad about this? Because the city has to approve this going up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but like afterwards. But, like, but they're going to ask us, why did you not do yeah. this one? Why did you not do this one? Why did you not do this one? Okay. That's, that's the problem we run into. Is you can't, and you can't please everybody. I yeah, understand right. that. I'm what, just trying to understand more of your guys' perspective. Yeah, and I, don't, I think putting the quote up is great, and I think recognize, is there a way we could do, is there a way we could just put like, Put the quote and at the bottom put in recognition of Sherry Montgomery on the bat line. You're opening up a can of worms. I know we're opening up a can of worms. And again, we talked about this when we had the meeting the first time too. 
because I knew that there were other black, I knew, I knew Alma was, was one that was involved. I knew Ben Bard was, I knew Ray Austin, I knew uh, there's several of them. Yeah. And there's, there's, I'd love to have, you know, where we could recognize a ton of them, but I'm afraid if we pick one out, it's going to cause a problem. But that, with the same logic, it's like saying if we pick out one person to put a plaque, then every single majority person, because this is a predominantly Caucasian town, and that means every Caucasian person who's ever succeeded needs a black. But what if next month Alma comes in here with her family and says, we want to put a black here. They so. might. She does not live here. She's in Orangeboro. And she's always That is true. She, she does live in Orangeboro. She takes never did anything for Ohio Well, she was the commissioner here. She did this job I'm doing right now. Yes. Yeah. But now she takes care of Orangeboro and the little kids. Yeah. She do not for our county. Never and and county again, county. I'm just saying, what if? I just right. don't know what if. Oh, it's going to happen. We, we get through it. Yeah, we get through it. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. Younger yeah. generation, they really don't know. Look, we got younger kids coming up. Younger ones is coming up. They really don't know the older ones that's gone on in or moved away. That. But with Sherry still here, they can look at her and see what she's doing because she's still here working. The old, our older generation, they gone. Yeah. And our younger generation is coming up. They're not going to know the past. But Sherry is accomplishing and doing something here. And we got younger, younger, younger kids that are growing up. They can see her, know her, yeah, uh -huh. and, and what she's doing. Yeah. Uh -huh. I see her in public every day. Right. But our younger kids are not going to know the older ones that's yeah. going on in. Or I, I don't see her now, so like I got used to. I miss seeing her. I used to see her every day, and I don't see her now every day. Get a speeding ticket or something. <laughs> no, I don't want to see you black. I'm every day on my work. I don't want to see you work. I will say, Kevin, what are we looking at? April 29th? Yeah, it's April 29th. For the tree to get the tree the planted. And the plaque won't be done by then anyway. Well, so it could be. possibly. I, I talked to a guy that said he might get one done by then. <laughs> You're really Maybe. Huh? Yeah. But uh, you know, I don't know what to put on it, and we don't want to do. I don't know what you get done by the. But end. we want to go ahead and plan the the 29th. Yeah, the tree will definitely go in one way or the other, where we had the plaque ready or not. The tree will go in, okay. and I and you know we'll get coverage on that, I'm sure, and get you know and you know and, and put in there and what it's for and how it was sponsored and all that. Um, and the plaque is just really of of what everybody we can get worked out and decide what to do. That's it. It'll get put up. Something will get put up. Either the quote, Sherry, something will get put up. We just got to make sure everybody's on board with everything. Do you guys have any input of how you all feel with if it needs to be somebody else or not? Yeah, no. Oh, I, I'm, I honestly, my personal opinion is I don't think you need to put anybody. One person, and Sherry knows what I think. It has nothing to do with Sherry because just like, you're, you're opening up a can of worms, and that's what I'm looking at from the standpoint that you got another one. What about me? What about me? And I'm saying Sherry here, and I'm tickled to death for what she's doing and what she's done. Yes. Uh, but that's my personal opinion. And, and I, I, yeah, I, mean, I see where you're coming from. Because we have to play, like I say, devil's advocate a lot, whether I like mm -hmm. to or not. <laughs> because there is always that you other want to add another one group. on to you guys. Definitely, someone has to play it, but you could also play it up with the plaque up with someone recognized. You know what I mean? If someone gets upset because it's not them, I understand that it's less of an emotional problem for you all. It's like a legal thing. You all have to do something about it. But I really think the probability of someone being mad that it's not them is honestly like really low because everyone respects her. I think everyone will just be happy for her. Honestly, I get. I, I get the, the frustration and I, I get the possibly anxiety from what could come from recognizing just one person, but there's also a whole other opportunity for all the good things that could happen. Like children seeing her for what, she, for like what you said, and just the park with all the foot traffic, it would help people know that they're in a welcoming environment. We are in a small town where some people do stereotype us, even though that's not the case. Everyone here is very welcoming, but some people do stereotype it like it's not, you know? So not only to have a black woman, woman, African-American, two marginalized groups, also in, you know, the uh, law enforcement, it kind of proves a point a little bit, especially with all the, you know, back and forth with African-American <coughs> people and cops, just to be frank. 
I mean, well, I, it's what, what do you guys think? I mean, I definitely want the quote. Definitely want that. And I, would, and I, I like I said, I love Sherry Death. I would love to do something for Sherry. But I don't know, I don't know how to do it in a, in a way that's not going to offend people. And that's weird because I know 99.9% .9 of the people I know like Sherry. There's nobody that I know that doesn't like Sherry. Her mama, but that's just on <laughs> Wednesdays. <laughs> But again, I have no problem. I have no problem with it. But again, I know it doesn't matter. When we put the ballpark in down here, I remember there was people that got mad because we put, you know, it's called the Chat Chapman Ray Chapman baseball complex. People were upset about Ray Chapman. Ray Chapman was the first baseball player killed in a baseball game. Only. And the only one that's ever killed Is in a baseball game. Is the name game. still Ray Chapman? It's the it's the Ray Chapman, Chapman baseball Chapman. complex. Is it still named that? Yeah. Yeah, it's still named that. And we... we a major league we, baseball player. Yeah, he was a major league baseball. He's the only major league ball player that ever was killed in the game. Got hit with fastball and was killed him. And we got, we got fussed at because of that. Was he from the area? Did he yeah, he lived, he lived right, right, right outside of Beaverton. Wow, that shows how much I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can look it up, though. It's, but again, we had people that griped about that. Well, why not name a baseball complex after somebody that actually has a baseball background that's from Ohio County. We exactly. still had people fussing. It doesn't matter what you do. We're going to be wrong no matter what we do. We just try to lower, lower the amount of problems. That's all. And again, you know, whatever they come up, whatever we all decide, and we can come up with. I'm thrilled with whatever because I can do it on my own. I can tell you that right now. I appreciate you all coming and doing this. What are the? Could you all think of some upsides to just recognizing a person though? Could you all think of any kind of upside that would bring? You mean what would it do to, if we if we uh, recognize Cherry? Yes. Well, I know, like you say, it, it would be. I mean, people would recognize that the community community does have a black input in in the system, which I think they should. Yeah. And it has it has been, you know, I think getting better over the years, um, because I know when when I was a young man that wouldn't have happened, and it's gotten much better, but. When you were a young man, what wouldn't have happened? Uh, they would not have recognized a black person when We're I was not growing doing up. It right now, in the, I, I, grew up, I remember when we had the, the civil unrest in the 60s. I'm old. And it had civil unrest in the 60s, and it was not pretty. Mm. And it was, it was very, it, there was a lot of touchiness going on. You know, I remember the integration in yeah. this county. I was in school. It was a lot of that? hard feelings. Yeah. I'm old enough. Y'all can't remember because I don't. It's before my time. My mom and them were bust to own yeah. Yeah. to go to school. Yeah. But when the first school burned, and they brought them to Beaver Elementary, when, when, when Bruce closed, it caused was some issues. Mm -hmm. And see, I never, I, I never understood happen. it because I sat by Kenny Buford in my first grade class. I didn't know there was supposed to be integration or anything like that. I grew up not knowing that until I got old enough to see what had happened earlier in the 60s. I was in the late part of the 60s. <clears throat> so it was, it was. I was glad to see that yeah. Bruce Hoff finally got recognized. Yeah. Yes. You know, yes. after yes. almost 100 years. Yes. Yeah. Can I say, like you say, when you were a young person, they would have never liked Yeah, they would have never done something like that. But we're still not doing it today. That's what we're trying to do something about today, and I agree with you. It is not probably what you all would want, but we're still trying to come to a compromise. Yeah, definitely. Okay, I feel like, like all the issues that we just spoke about kind of prove why it would be beneficial to recognize her, though, because of all the injustices. For example, you didn't even know they existed. I didn't have to learn about it. I, we didn't have to learn that there was injustices. We just, they, they yeah. happened to us. Just like how there are certain ones that have happened to you guys that y'all didn't have to learn about. Yeah. You know, like you didn't go to class and learn that something was going to happen to you because of something you can't control. Honestly, so I think it would just kind of give a little glimmer of hope as a as a as a part of the youth. I know I'm not a teenager coming up, but as a part of the youth who recently has been very young, it was really important to me to see things like that because even though I was in a um, like a healthy environment, like we don't have a lot of crime or anything here. I was 
and a lot of the people with me, a lot, all five of us, of black children in the school that I went to in the certain elementary school, and then it grew to like a couple more in high school. If I would have went to the amphitheater, because I went up there all the time with my friends, and if I would have seen something like that, I probably wouldn't have hated myself as much, to be honest. Like, I don't want to make it like, like that, but that's kind of how it is. Because people grow up and they literally would rather be anything but themselves because they don't see anybody like them doing anything well. Even though there's tons of us. So I think it would kind of be worth the shot of a couple snowflakes getting mad. Honestly. I, I wasn't actually I wasn't thinking about the white people getting mad. I was thinking about no, black like people snowflakes mean like uh, like people. See, I didn't. I thought he was yeah. talking about white people. No, no you, you, you know what a snowflake is. is. Oh no, sir. Oh, that was the woke people. I, I can't keep up with no, that. No, you know how much people get offended by everything nowadays. That's what they're called. I, I, don't know. I apologize for that. I know. Whatever the next line is. Tells you how ignorant I am when it comes to stuff like I said. I grew up. Can Kenny and Kenny and I grew up in the Middle Ages. Like 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 I grew up in he was just a friend to me. I never thought of anything about it. Sorry, I'm still trying to like process this. I'm like, I'm just giving you a second. So, so what, do we, just, what do we need to do? I, I have to have people to go through the modern slang every so yeah. often. Okay. That's a new. That was a new term to me. Yeah. Thank you for. You're welcome. You're probably gonna start using it. I probably notice, will. Yeah, I'd never heard that even until you said that. I don't know. What is that? Snowflake? Yeah, snowflake. I would never do that. So we're, we're a little bit behind the time. At this age. Yeah, remember I'm old. I forgot that. Remember I'm old. We traded. I didn't know about the baseball player. And bringing that back up, I was thinking, how did you guys agree on him? What was the criteria for him to get that ballpark named after him? He was a baseball player. He, he, right, he, but she's also uh, something that's great. Well, and of course, but he was a baseball player, and we named a baseball field after. Right, baseball. I, mean, I, I get that. We just didn't pull a name out. Right. I mean, but it wouldn't be got, had he not played baseball, it wouldn't be named that. You got yeah. backlash from him. Yeah. But it's Surprisingly. Still, but it's still there. You never removed it. I don't understand what you mean by that. Like. Surprisingly, like, why would there be any backlash for that? Of yeah. course, there would be major backlash for, you know, what we're asking for, possibly. There's still a chance that it wouldn't be as bad as we think it would be, or as you all think it would be. Which, you know, it's, a, it's okay. It's why it's a big open discussion. I'm okay with hearing things that aren't what I, you know, think. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. Do you have any ideas? Not right up, not right up front. Uh, I'm still in the process how that we could do, incorporate the, could the, the picture even. Can you reckon we could have that metalized in some way? There's a process where it, it like, they take the picture and they put it on there and it somehow, engraved onto the plaque it's it's a engraved image and it, it it'll last not I don't know how long though but it'll last for a while guys I'll tell you I'm, I'm not against recognizing anybody I, I'm honest with you as a matter of fact uh, as far as that side to me ask Debbie render or Drake uh, who offered to rent her house when no one else would give her a place to live. And it happened to be my, a duplex that I lived in. I asked a lot of folks a lot of things about me, Mike Winstead and a whole lot of folks. And I can see where that there are other folks in the African community, American community here that may think, well, why can't I be recognized? And I understand all of those those arguments, but we'll we we can do whatever we can try to do to help any situation going. But I I, I just I just don't know either about once you go singling out right now. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, you you did. 
If we can we compromise on just not having her face on there, just no no photo of a person? Because the words you said were really the only thing that people wouldn't care enough to vandalize. It was a, a person. Well, I, I would say there's a less chance of vandalizing. They vandalize everything. Right. 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 But I think it would be less chance of it being vandalized. So do you think that just not having a photo of a, of a blatant photo of a person recognizing them, but just if you take the time and actually read it, you realize what it is? You know, it's not like a... I mean, what do you think? Yes, it's true. I know it's mine, and I'm not, I don't want to be the one making a decision on this. Because <laughs> I know I'll make the wrong decision, whatever it is, I'll make the wrong decision. But, I mean, Charles, you got any ideas on that? I think we need to do something, but exactly what, I'm not sure. Yeah. We really need to make that plaque. If we try, and it gets tore up, we try. Yep, do you want to put... Just the quote on there, or do you want to put Sherry the on there? I think with Sherry's recognition of what I would like to start with. See how it goes. Yeah, we could always change it later, that's true. You said the quote with Sherry's recognition is what you wanted. Would, that's what he said he would, he thought that would be a better way to start with. And again, again, start with. Start. I, I think that'll be, I think that would be a good start and that would be a place we could see I don't really know where else we could go forward with that because if we start there, then we can only take away. Because or you could put up a different plaque. I mean, yeah. you know, we, we can take down the one and put up a different one. With the same, with the same message though, right? Correct. I'm on the same page now. I mean, it's it's possible. And I, again, I even, I think, talked to Cindy, I want to say it was you I talked to, about having where you could rotate it, like next year put up something different. And we talked about that also. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. We, uh, we, <laughs> And that's something down down the road that I said you could possibly do. Yeah, I feel like that makes it more of a competition and less of just like a recognition. And not arguing that fact either. So would you all be okay if we just started it with the quote and then in recognition of Sherry Montgomery? Started it with the quote and recognizing her? Or yeah, say saying, saying the quote and then said in recognition of Sherry Montgomery and then we can put it down there below first female. Would that be possible? So the quote, and then in recognition of Sherry Montgomery, and then she gets to put a little excerpt about herself, about like why she's why she's being recognized, just a little under bit under her name. Why? To explain you think we, you think we could get that on sign? Again, do you think we could get that on sign? You'll get too much on one to want to read it. They'd have to be That's, right up, right on top of it to read it, wouldn't they? They won't stay. And read it. Why, why don't they write with that? Put it in writing what they're wanting and bring it back to the next city commission meeting for y'all. Because we have to, we need to get it up. Well, I again, we don't know if we can get it done before, before the 29th. The 29th. Yeah. Time you order it, it won't be here well, on time. If, if there's too much, and if there's a picture, I know we probably won't get it done by the 29th. Could you draw up something and let's let us give like give us two or three options so we could discuss it real quick? Um, and, okay. Yeah, and and that way we could decide on one first personally. But still, the tree's going up for sure, and then we'll get the plaque up when we can. Yeah, because the tree's part of the Arbor Day stuff right. Right. in April. So we, we, we expect yeah. to recognize it. And we don't want to wait much later to get it planted. Yeah. In fact, I'd, I'd like to have already had it planted this year. I think the only idea, I think we're all just sharing the same idea, if you can just put it to scale that fits for people. Uh -huh. Just the quote, yeah. uh -huh. no picture, and recognition of Sherry, and then just who she is. Yeah. I, just to scale, like... In a rectangle, quote, Sherry, who Sherry is. Three lines. How big of a plaque are you talking about? And then just put it to scale of whatever plaque you all feel is best, you know. I mean, that you all are going to do a good close session? Yeah. yeah. Tell me how big the plaque is. We can get together and we can. What, what? She, I don't really Sandy, do you remember how big we talked about like remember, this? Why? You like, said 18 by 24? 18 by 24. I think that's what it was. 18 yeah. by 24. It's 18 inches tall, 24 inches wide, about like this. I think we could fit that. People have index cards and more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but reading it's what we want to make sure yes. people read it. That's yes. the thing. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay, and that's all I've got. Mike. Uh, two guys. They did phase two uh, Thursday, which is polygraph drug screen. Just wait to hear back from that. And then uh, it's good and we'll schedule for class, which 
That's the first class I think we can get them in is September. 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 So it, you know, it's a lengthy process. They get them, get them in school. Would that have to that it takes twenty six? No, like twenty eight, three, four. Yeah. Oh, they okay. Twenty weeks now they lowered a little bit. Used to be twenty four. Yeah. That's kind of what's going on with everything else. So by February of next year, they'll be ready, give or take a couple of weeks. About six months. That will take. Time to take off for Christmas week, New Year's week. Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving. If they off one day, they take a whole week off. Really? Yeah, because it throws the program out. They don't go five days a week. Okay. Anything else? Uh, the other gentleman back there. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, any update on uh, over on Cherry Lane, my house, where the sewer system flooded out my whole house? I haven't heard anything. Did from, you? Uh, we'll wait on her name every time. Interesting question. Jamie. Jamie. Uh, who? Jamie. No, Jamie. 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 Yeah, Jamie. You haven't heard anything from Jamie. From Jamie. She's the uh, insurance. Yeah, she's an insurance adjuster. We know when so, I is. Mean, I was going to say, Shelby, can you get a phone number? and That way, when we do hear from them, Larry can get yeah. And I know Sandy's got it, but she's not here tonight. So you know, I work on a concrete floor all day long. I'm sore and tired, and I go home. I have to be on concrete floor all night, keep shoes on. I understand. What's your phone? Two seven zero nine seven seven five six nine nine. You know, I'll show you something else I noticed the other day. You know, talk about the drainage system and stuff up there. I happen to notice this my driveway. Edge of my driveway here is putting up hole right there then on the other side it house just washing it all out from underneath there and we're just so bad sort of tile under your yeah. one i mean it, it's, it's about to destroy my driveway right there i went out there the, out of the your driveway did have a small one it's not i don't think it's big enough but you'd have to dig the ditch down and i don't know if they want it. but there are so many drives out there that don't have tiles in i know them. Yeah, it's so the most amazing thing. This is one side of my driveway. There's a little hole there at right. the edge there and the gravel <laughs> and the other side. Um, I mean, it, see how bad it's, yeah. I mean, it's destroying it. See the tile? Yeah. They put, the concrete's the almost blocking the tile. The inlet's not very big at all. Uh, it's all just four, four, four or six inch tile. Four inch, I think. Four yeah. six. Yeah. You never they, put they anything under 12 inches. Yeah. Well, and they didn't, there's no, I mean, it's flat. There's no place for the water to go. Even if it, even with the towel, it's just running over the towel and it's going all over the driveway. Yeah, it's going over the driveway. It's worse on my I went, down, I went out there when it had that big rain and I stopped at the old other lady that was here the day that you Oh, yeah, Tracy. Tracy. Uh, Tracy. I stopped at her house, talked to her. I come to your house, nobody answered. Yeah. Well, I don't get home about five Yeah, and that's, that's fine, but I did yeah. knock on your door. But my big problem is there's, there's not, out of the, I think I counted 16, Crossing driveways going down from her, Tracy's house to your house. Yeah. 16 right. driveways. I think three had, out of the 16, three had tiles in them. And none of them were very big. The rest of them didn't have tiles in them. Well, there's no place for the water to go. And you, you look on the other side of my driveway, the ditch on the other side, all my gravel's in that ditch over there because I just keep washing it all out. It's, there's no, there's, the water has no way to get out. It's because no, it right. just goes into the yard, <laughs> it just goes across the yard. It fills up the whole front yard and everything yeah. else. And I just keep back. I mean, we can dig ditches out there, but we have to put in new tiles and everything yeah. else. And that, that was, that should have been the responsibility of the guy that built the subdivision. I don't know who did it. Probably Gwen, I guess. But there should have been drainage put in when they built the house. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, Tracy also talked about that tree. She's right, that tree fell right in the middle of the ditch and it just sat there. I think Dave is working on that. Yeah. And, of course, he's off this week. Yeah. And, uh, but I think her, we can get some of her problems solved. But your problem, I don't know yeah, what we're going to do on it because unless we find a way to get the water out of her, because it comes, it's not just his driveway he's getting. Now he, he's getting everything from everybody else oh, up there. Yeah, all the other in Cherry Lane. And, and there's no way for it to get out. It just comes big wave right down there. And, and I get all their trash from up there. Exactly. I'm constantly picking up my yard every time. It just all the trash is stopped right there. 
And I mean, I looked at the county. The county's gone down there. The one that where it crosses under Duval Road, they're doing a project, getting new rock and stuff put in there. They're doing that right now. But again, I don't know what else to do. But you'd have to dig everything up out there and start all over again with the drainage system. And I don't think you can do that with the houses. Most of the houses is lower than the street is. Yeah. It's, the whole that's development it should really have never, bad. Should have never happened like it did. No. They should have never. But that was 50 some years ago and. 70s, 60s, and 70s, I'm sure, is when they built it. How many times they paid them rows, and the street just keeps getting higher and higher up, you know. Like I said, it's getting like a drop off at the edge of the street. And <laughs> yeah, but the only alternative, they're still, even with that, they're still lower than the street. Yeah. The only alternative, that's not to repave the street, and you don't want to do that. No, I know. Though. I mean, they ain't no weed yeah, on that part of it. They didn't do any groundwork, probably. They didn't put the concrete pad right there on the ground. It wasn't built up. Yeah, yeah. And that really was not a good way to do those houses. No. <laughs> They did them too quick. Yeah. And like right now, I'm still keeping my cap off outside. And this is in front of my front door. I mean, see how nasty my yard is staying where the sewer is coming out of that? But, and I mean, the ground just stiff, the grass. And, and like, like I said, right here is my porch, my front door. I saw it is right there. I opened my front door. I'm right there. I had to deal with the nasty sewer in my yard, but I went it back in my house. Yeah. <laughs> the lesser of two evils. So I, you know, I'd rather have it right there than inside. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, I just been leaving the cap off, and I got like a little rug I kind of set on top of it to keep the hole covered. That way, it won't come up out of it. But, Don't see it. but that's the only thing I know to do for right now. You know. Well, as soon as we hear about these insurance adjusters, we will get in touch with you. Yeah, at I, least from that standpoint. I, I need to do something. I, I can't go much longer than I have carpet. You know. I, I do I need to hire an attorney? You know, they ain't gonna do nothing or what? But you know, I got to get something. Yeah, attorney be fighting with the yeah, insurance company too. It wouldn't be. Yeah. We, you know, it's there. They, you know, sometimes the insurance company just takes no slack or no yeah. time. That's one of these situations. And like I said, I, I'm happy with the cheapest route possible on it. Well, there's no way the city can buy the carpet. And I'm, I'm speaking on the, on behalf of the insurance. If we buy a carpet. Why do we have insurance? Yeah. It, it's, it's got. It's all got to be channeled through the insurance, insurance company. Yeah. We open ourselves up for more litigation. Well, for one thing, auditors would yeah. skin us alive. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's back on the insurance. It's got to go through the insurance. Premium, they make the decision. We don't. It's not on us. So when do you think you'll hear back from? I, I'll call her again tomorrow and, and uh, touch base with her. Okay. I appreciate it. No problem. We're taking a motion to go into closed session. Move right. closed closed session. Second. Shut off automatic? Should. I bet it's hit a button or something because I had that happen on mine. Huh. There's all kinds of buttons on there. Tell me. Hit it with your knee when you got in or out. I've done that before too. Hey, Joyce has got one. I can't figure nothing out about it. Like it shouldn't be. I have only been in her two hours for this. Really? Almost an hour. Okay. We had a motion to go back in. Okay. Now we're back in open session. A, uh, we have the uh, surplus equipment, the fire truck. Uh, I'm not sure what number that was. It's 19, 1999 Pierce. Okay. Oh, thank you. For her rent rent, 1999 Pierce. That have been surplus. I uh, have a bid from Summer Shade, Kentucky for $40,000. I make a motion we accept the bid from Summer Shade, Kentucky for that truck for $40,000. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? I guess it should just say for clarification that going from one agency to another agency because we have one volunteer fire department going through a big process that was created that we did on it. So. I'll do this to her. Okay. Those in favor say goodbye. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes. James, you have anything on that? Do you have I'll go ahead. Okay. Um, we have a resignation uh, effective March 31st for Becky Gary, the tourism director. I'd like a motion to accept that, please. Second. We have a motion and second for the discussion. Those in favor, signify by the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. 
Motion passes. Is there yeah. anything else for you? I've got a couple things. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't ask you what, no, did I? Kevin yeah. got me all tore up. <laughs> uh, we went with. Uh, <laughs> We met with uh, KLC safety guy, Ben Cook. Uh, a few things we're going to, have to do housekeeping wise. He wants us to uh, have a safety committee. Uh, we'll set a couple of commissioners or mayor and a couple of employees. Uh, Charles and Jim are the ones easiest to get out of. <coughs> well, Kevin, too. Anyway, any of them three, and then Travis and Mark Crowley. Basically said it's going to be one meeting. Was it a month or quarter? Um, or is it quarter? I think it's quarter. Uh, do walkthroughs through our building to see if any, any updates, any new policies, make sure things get put up. Uh, time to have a new scorecard on the workers' comp insurance. So we're trying to talk about the building down here. All buildings. All buildings. Yeah. There's all the properties like you have the old plant and everything. Yeah. So if it, in, 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 in Paul, if you want in on the safety committee, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it would be easier if, if someone, you know, Kevin, Charles, or Jim, that I'll be fine unless Kevin Mark Paul Reed again. Charles, it's coming to me. One of us will be there. We'll figure it that way. One three, of us will put on three of you on You can't put three of them on there. That's right. Well, I mean, it's up to you. Charles said he'd do it. That's fine. Okay. And then put Travis more. Uh, did he need that whole motion plate? Did he? Yes. We have a motion. Make motion with Charles is the liaison for the city with the with the safety board. Charles and, and, and Travis and Mark. Okay. Travis and Mark. Charles, Charles and Jim. Yeah. I'll let it die for lack of a second. <laughs> we have a motion and second for further discussion. Those in favor seeing how about uh, uh, opposed second. Motion passes. Okay, we bought a new lift. We also our old one uh, to make the current surplus and sell it. Uh, whether it's on good deals or anybody local, you never have a paper. <laughs> Oh, you got That's a good deal on it. It's pretty young. Got the deal on we'll get it. I figure if we get six, seven hundred dollars, we'll probably be lucky. Yeah, get, get local to find. What do you think you do? Where? Old lift truck? No, it's a lift, car lift. Oh. oh. Two, a two post lift. Oh. Kind of dangerous. Yeah, it is. I think a local lift would be fine. I don't think it matters if you think you get rid of it locally. We just need to declare surplus. Uh, I'll make a motion we declare the lift surplus. Second. Motion is second. Those in favor say that aye. Aye. So second. That's just, that's all that I have. Chris, I didn't ask you what you had. You don't do it. Why says I don't have to do that? That's it. You don't do it. Speak up. This is the whole time. I'm starting on the budget.